Yes, my dear student, in last class I forgot to tell you that one more disinfectant, 0.2 to 0.4% aqua solution of chlorine is used as disinfectant in water to kill the bacteria. And SO2 in parts per million concentration is also used as disinfectant. Now the next topic is that antimicrobial and antibiotic. Antimicrobial, the chemical substance the chemical substance which are used to cure the diseases which are used to cure the diseases the chemical substance which are used to cure the disease by microorganism microorganism like as bacteria fungi virus are called antimicrobial Example Selverson Prontosil Sulfanamide Sulfanilamide Sulfanilamide My dear student Antimicrobial are those drugs or chemical substance which are used to cure diseases by the microorganism like as bacteria, virus, fungus are called antimicrobial. An example is that salversal, rontosil, sulfanilamide. And Paul Enrich got the Nobel Prize for medicine in 1908 for the discovery of salversal. Paul P A U L. It's a name scientist. E H R L I C H. Paul Elrich got the Nobel Prize for the discovery of Selversen in 1908. It is important to know it was the first effective treatment discovered by Forsyfils and Selverson he has done for this uh, got the Nobel Prize for Selverson and this prize he got for the discovery of Selverson and Selverson is used for the Syphils it's a big achievement by that scientist at that time that also mattered 1908 now come antibiotic what is the antibiotic the chemical substance which are produced by microorganism and used to kill the harmful microorganism is called antibiotic we generally say that we are doing the vaccination the chemicals which are produced antibiotic are also chemical which are produced by <laughs> produced by microorganism produced by microorganisms like as bacteria fungus mold like as bacteria fungus mold and these are used to kill the harmful bacteria used to kill the harmful bacteria so antibiotic biotic means bio means living antibiotic that the medicine the chemicals which we are using to kill the bacteria and they are harmful bacteria and they are used they are produced by also microorganisms 
so these are the antibiotics example of antibiotic are you are using normally penicillin you are using amoxicillin amoxicillin you are using now they are of two type one is that bactericidal bactericidal and one is bacteriostatic bacteriostatic where the word static comes it means to, to stop the growth of bacteria to stop the growth of bacteria and wherever the sidel word come that means to kill the bacteria kill the bacteria and bacteria sidels are antibiotic like as penicillin ofloxacin streptomycin whereas bacteriostatics are tetracycline chloramphenicol too much important i earlier discussed chlorom chloramphenicol this can be asked in the exams because it is a uh, spelling and name matching with the chlordiazepine and that is the tranquilizer hyperetics so one again classification broad spectrum antibiotic there are actually three types of antibiotics number one is that single cell number two is that narrow spectrum antibiotics and number one uh, then again is that broad spectrum antibiotic one classification is that bacteriostatic another is what bacteriostatic now another is also classification broad spectrum antibiotic broad spectrum antibiotic divided into three categories number 1 is that narrow number 2 is that limited spectrum and another is that broad spectrum narrow spectrum antibiotics which kills those effective mainly against gram positive or gram negative narrow spectrum antibiotic that kills it will kill only either gram positive bacteria or gram negative bacteria but broad spectrum antibiotic will kill both of gram positive as well as gram negative and whereas the limited spectrum antibiotic effective as a single cell it will kill only the single cell so you please learn antibiotic antimicrobial thank you very much guys thank you